Hi, my name is Luis Ferrocal, and I'm going to be talking to you uh, today about how to use Django 1.4 with Eclipse. On part three of our tutorial, we're going to be uh, discussing how to use the admin site. Uh, you can follow me at, at Luis C. Berrocal, and I just switched my um, blog from Blogger to WordPress. My new blog is luisciberrocal.wordpress.com. Now let's now let's see what we're going to do today. First of all, we're going to activate the admin site. We're going to add some data uh, from the admin site. We're going to explore the history of the objects. And we're going to do some minor changes to the look and feel of the admin site using the cascading style sheet. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the Eclipse. We're going to open our previous uh, project that we started on the tutorial, which is LM Stat site. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to activate the admin site, which by default is not activated. We're going to open settings and we're going to look for the variable called installed apps, which is somewhere around here. And we're going to uncomment the tag here that reads uh, Django con dot Django dot contrib dot admin. Once we've done that, we're going to do uh, we're going to save. And this thing, next thing we're going to do is we're going to run uh, our sync DB. Uh, we're going to right click here on our project. We're going to select on Django, and we're going to run sync DB. Uh, let's see what. Okay, so now you can see it has created a new table on our database called Django admin, Django underscore admin underscore log. So means it runs just perfect. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our two uh, models uh, to the admin site. Uh, our models are host group and computer. And to do this, we're going to create uh, a new .py uh, .py file in LMStats. Uh, here, I'm sorry, in LMStats. And we're going to select new PyDev module. And we're going to select uh, an empty one. And we're going to type, we're going to call it admin. And click and finish. And now we're ready to add to our admin site our, our, our um, models. So we're going to type admin.site.register. I'm sorry, rows, register. And we're going to re register computer first. And then we're going to register admin site.register. We're going to add host group. Now you can see on the screen that uh, Eclipse is telling me in red that he doesn't know what this is. So we're going to type here is uh, command shift one to get ideas on what to do. So we're going to tell him to add uh, admin from a Django contrib, which is this one. And as you can see, it added added uh, this from import. Now, uh, it doesn't know where computer is, so we're going to uh, command shift one. And it's asking us to if we want to create computer. Uh, for some reason, it's not finding our models. Should be finding it. Let's do it uh, the hard way. Uh, from models import uh, computer. And from we can tell computer comma host group host group and now we're going to do save as you can see now uh, our underscores have disappeared well now before we go out and activate uh, and uh, turn on the server one thing I forgot to do was activate the URLs so we go to the urls.py file and we're going to uncomment the admin 
regular expression. And what this does, it, it catches all the URLs that have this in your um, in your path and it redirects them to the admin site URL. We also have to uncomment uh, this too, this one, oh, of course, and uh, this one, and then we're going to do a save. And we should be ready to start uh, the server. Now we're going to start running the server to see uh, how this activated admin site works. We're going to do we're going to do Python manage py run server 9095, which is the port I'm using. Uh, but before we go on, I want you to see that I've already activated my virtual environment that is called uh, Django 14 Eclipse. No, and I am in my LMstat site directory. So once I type this, I hit enter. It has found no errors, and it tells me that the development server is running on this address, which is my local host in the port 9095. And I'm going to open the browser. My case is um, Firefox. And as you can see, I'm in the admin site now. I get this display, and I have to log in. This, this super user was created on a previous tutorial. I use my password. Uh, see if I can remember it. I'm going to log in. We're not going to remember. And as you can see now, it has created for us this t two new uh, objects to administer within the admin site. It already has the groups and the users. As you can see, the users is the users that will be running or will be using your site. The only user we have created is our administrative uh, user, which is mine. But for now, we're going to create a couple of computers. Uh, first, we're going to create our host groups. We're going to click here and add host group. We're going to turn our a little bit smaller so we can work now. And we call this uh, we're going to call this the engineering group. Group. And say it's active. We're going to click here in today, so it'll give us today now, which so we can record. And we're going to click on save and add another one. Click here. As you can see, it tells us up here that the engineering group has been added successfully. Then you may add another. We're going to call, we're going to add the accounting group. We're going to set it to active. We're going to uh, select today and now. And we're going to add another group. And our last group is going to be our executive group. Exec executive group. We're going to make it active. We're going to add today and now. And we're going to do save. Now we have these three groups created. We're going to start adding. We're going to add a couple of computers. We're going to go to LM Stats and we're going to add computers. We're going to add a new computer here and we're going to call this uh, uh, CEO Laptop. And we're going to say this is part of the executive group. As you can see, you could add another host group from here if you click here. We're going to say it's active. We're going to click on date created today, click on date time, and we're going to save and add another one. And we're going to create chief engineer laptop. And we're going to select the engineering group. We're going to set it active. We're going to select today, now, and we're going to save and add another one. And accountant laptop. You're going to select the accounting group. And select to active. Add today's date. And we're going to set it to now. Now we're going to do save. Uh, here you can see we have our uh, different computers. 
uh, and each computer if you click on it you can see the date you can see all the data you can delete it here but one cool thing about the admin side is you can see the history let's go back to computers and let's say the chief engineering does not have a laptop but he has a desktop so if we do here and we type desktop and we do save let's go back to the engineering desktops you can see it's changed but if you click here in history you will be able to see the the history what has changed when changed when it was changed and who changed it so you can see at 606 today uh, me changed the name so this is a very cool way to know who made changes on your data and what was changed uh, and this is all you know just uh, plugged in into the Django admin site you don't have to do anything Now what we're going to do is we're going to tweak a little bit with the template, with the admin template. We're going to change the title that reads uh, Django Administration into something a little bit more useful for us. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder here for our templates. It's going to call it a folder, new folder. Uh, it's at the project level. It's going to be called templates. Uh, we're going to click on finish. And within this templates folder, we're going to create a new folder called admin. Create a new folder called admin. Now, basically what we're going to do is we're going to copy the original file from the Django distribution and change it. Uh, now, I've already located my base underscore site HTML file. Uh, mine is located within my virtual environments. The virtual environment I'm using is Django 14 Eclipse. It's within my distribution, site packages, Django, contrib, admin, templates, admin based HTML. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this file into my project in my lm.sites templates admin. Paste it here. Open the clips and just do a refresh, check that it's here. As you can see it's it's already refreshed, so you can see it here. In order to tell Django to use this base underscore site HTML file instead of the one in the distribution, I have to edit my settings on uh, my settings.py uh, file. And I have to go to the variable template underscore this and add the full path to my template folder. So I'm going to type here. Uh, this is the full path to my template folders. I'm going to click here save and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the base site HTML and we're going to change this to LM stats administration I'm going to use uppercase though it's not appropriate but uh, I like it that way I'm going to save it now we open our browser and as you can see it still reads Django administration instead of LM stats administration we're going to hit the refresh button and as you can see now we have changed the title for the whole administration site uh, wherever you move you'll see it will stay the same so i guess this is it for this tutorial thank you very much for your time